All right, guys, fortune favors the brave. Uh, we're on the main training floor. Lot going on, lot going on, lot going on. Coming through here, awesome electrician up there, swapping out everything for LED lights. Help us on long-term electrical consumption. Walking into the uh, octagon here. We got one accent wall up right now. Looking pretty amazing. This place is gonna look nothing like it looks now. Aesthetically, it's gonna be just absolutely ridiculous. Um, kids' little play area coming along. Front desk area, again, it's kind of hard to envision, but anybody that knows me knows, uh, once I make the vision in my head, it will happen. We'll, we'll make it happen. Check-in area being built out. Uh, accent walls going up all the way around. It's just so much. This place is gonna look absolutely amazing when it's all said and done. Uh, office back here, coming along, walking back through. The uh, employee kitchen over here, it's gonna be pretty awesome when that's done. Gonna be a real homey place. Just tons of floor space going through. There used to be another wall here, we just had that removed. Um, secondary training area in here, going up. New handrails going in, uh, oak tops, maple tops, whatever. That's gonna be all stained, sand is gonna be pretty amazing. Team room, no he's hiding out inside of here. But uh, team room's coming along, floor's being sanded, it's gonna look amazing when that's done. Back door's been sealed off like we wanted. Double bathrooms. It's kind of hard to give you the full sketch here, but storage room coming along, nice drain view, putting the floor there. Coming back so much, man. It's hard to even wrap my head around everything. Uh, ADA compliant bathrooms up to speed. This floor just got removed out. This is gonna all be epoxied over here pretty soon. And uh, it's just everywhere you hook it here, there's like something happening, something going on, something being built right now. It's really pretty incredible. I don't make a lot of predictions and I don't, I don't guarantee a lot of things, but I will say this. When this building is done, it will be the nicest, let me repeat, the nicest uh, training center that you've probably ever seen. And uh, I'm not saying that to brag or pat us on the back and spend six years in the making, but I can tell you that this building will be the gold standard for everything we're gonna do in it. Um, there's, there's no way it is. There's just no way it's not the gold standard when we're done. That's for, that is for sure. Obviously, we're going to make sure all our employees are taken care of when they're in here rocking and rolling. This is going to be an awesome kitchen setup for them. Really, really cool. Just really excited, man. Really, really excited. Every, everywhere you look, something's happening. It's a lot on the line, to say the least. <laughs> a lot on the line, boy. My God, a lot on the line. Don't even know where to begin. But here's something to think about, man. It's what it's all about, right? So they're inside working, doing a lot of work, but in the back of the car, Here's a training doll. And uh, we never get away from that. Can I swap? We never forget about that. We never forget where we started and, and what our mission is and what it's all about. And that Adobe right there, that's what it's all about. I think any small business owner um, that started the way that I did could relate to what I'm about to say. But a lot of people forget, you know, Ridgeside Canine was very busy before it was ever Ridgeside Canine, right? When it was a hobby, when it was a passion, when it was just you know, stupid videos on YouTube almost seven years ago. Um, that was a rich side canine just having fun. And it wasn't even rich side canine, it was just messing around. And then that passion becomes the hobby, the hobby becomes a side hustle, the side hustle becomes legit um, ability to pay. Then you quit your government job of almost 16 years and you follow that passion turned hobby, turned revenue source, turned small business. And then you grow that small business like your life is on the line where everything you do, every facet, every minute, every free moment, every penny is invested back into that business to make it grow. And, and, and that's kind of where we are now. Um, it's scary. There's a lot on the line. Either the smartest financial decision I've ever done or the stupidest. Time will tell, but I'm pretty confident in this one. But we're motivated. And looking back on things and remembering like, the creation of Ridgeside Canine LLC back in 2016 with one crate in the living room, a wire crate. And, you know, then we moved out to the basement or down to the basement. Then we moved out to the barn. Then we remodeled the entire barn. Then we knocked down and rebuilt the entire barn. And it's just been this slow growth. And damn, 
it's just where it is now could have never been predicted in my head it was always going to happen in my head we're right where we should be but it's been an uphill battle man in some rocky seas but uh if you work hard shit happens and it's incredible when it happens and it, and it comes to tuition we did not choose to start a dog uh location and put it in like a industrial area where you're you know over the railroad track back behind a quarry around a bunch of car you know repo shops and like that's where the dog training center is and that's where most are that's where kind of the industry standard is for most dog training centers that's not the case for this place uh we are smack dab in a large shopping center in a very busy area um there's a, a hotel um in the same parking lot as us a massive a nice hotel um there's a starbucks like 20 yards that direction um it's it's pretty incredible man like where we are and what this is going to allow us to do the the next vision of ridgeside canine and the, and the evolution of the company to where we need it to be and it's it's pretty crazy.